Welcome back to Acrylic Arts Academy where we help unleash the artist within you. Let's journey back to a time when the written word was a mere thought and narratives were woven through strokes and tints. As the first light of dawn kissed the age of primitive artistry, the world was nothing but a sprawling canvas, yearning for stories yet to be told. Nestled within the depths of age-old caves, our forebears embarked on the beautiful tradition of painting. Bereft of written language to document their existence, they turned to the walls of their homes, turning them into diaries of their time. These pioneering artists of mankind did not brandish brushes, but crude implements. Imagine their hands, dyed in the colors of natural pigments, ochre, charcoal, and chalk. These they combined with a binding agent, animal fat, crafting an early form of paint. Using this, they carved their livelihoods onto the rocky canvas, every attribute to their survival and tenacity. Their art was simple, yet profound. They painted their truths, their experiences. They didn't depict sweeping vistas or celestial inspirations, but the unadorned battle of existence. The illustrations portrayed hunting scenes and animals not just as quarry, but as emblems of might and skill. Fast forward to the ancient civilizations, where painting was no longer just about survival, but also power and faith. In this era, our forebears began to experiment with more complex tools and materials. The Egyptians, for instance, introduced brushes made from reed applying their pigments on plastered walls to narrate stories of their gods and pharaohs. Meanwhile, ancient Greeks, known for their love of beauty and detail, refined their techniques, creating lifelike portraits and scenes of daily life on ceramic vases and murals. They even began to play with perspective, bringing a new dimension to their work. Not to be outdone, the Romans carried on this legacy, painting vivid scenes of battles, landscapes, and festivities on their walls. They also dabbled in portraiture, commemorating their leaders and influential figures through art. The age of antiquity enriched the art of painting with more themes and techniques, thus broadening its scope and impact. With the Middle Ages came religious reverence, and with the Renaissance came a rebirth of art and culture. This pivotal time in history brought a significant shift in the world of painting. Mural paintings, which had dominated for centuries, slowly gave way to panel paintings. This transition allowed for more intricate details and the ability to move and sell artwork in a way that had not been possible before. The Middle Ages also saw the introduction of a game-changer in the artist's toolkit. Oil paints. Oil paints with their slower drying time and richer, deeper colors allowed artists to create more lifelike and detailed work than ever before. This was a monumental step forward in the evolution of painting, allowing for greater expression and creativity. Religious and mythological themes were highly prevalent during this time. Artists were often commissioned by the church or by wealthy patrons to create grand pieces depicting biblical scenes or tales from mythology. These works were not just beautiful to behold, they were tools of storytelling, education, and devotion. As we move into the Renaissance, a renewed focus on realism and perspective took hold. Artists began to study light, shadow, and the human form, striving to capture the world around them with as much accuracy as possible. This quest for realism was a marked departure from the symbolic and stylized art of the Middle Ages. Among the great masters of this time, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo stand out. Leonardo with his iconic works like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, and Michelangelo with his breathtaking frescoes in the Sistine Chapel pushed the boundaries of what was possible in painting. Their works continue to inspire and awe us even today. The Middle Ages and Renaissance brought significant advancements to the art of painting, making it a powerful tool for expression and communication. These periods laid the groundwork for the art that was to come, changing not just how we create, but how we see and understand the world around us. Entering the modern era, painting broke free from tradition and embraced individual expression. This period of artistic evolution was marked by a flurry of new movements and styles, each challenging the boundaries of creativity and expression in their unique ways. One of the most significant of these movements was Impressionism, a style that sought to capture the fleeting impressions of light and color. Artists like Claude Monet painted en plein air, capturing the world around them with quick, loose brushstrokes that emphasized the fleeting nature of light and color. Impressionism was a radical departure from the detailed, carefully composed art of the past, and it paved the way for further experimentation in the art world. Next came Cubism, a movement spearheaded by Pablo Picasso and George Brock. Cubism shattered the traditional conventions of perspective and form, presenting multiple viewpoints of a subject simultaneously. 
This abstract approach to painting was a radical departure from the realistic depictions of the past, and it opened the door to a world of new possibilities in art. Then, in the mid-20th century, abstract expressionism took the art world by storm. Artists like Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko rejected the traditional concepts of composition and representation entirely, opting instead for spontaneous, emotive expressions of color and form. Their works were not meant to depict anything specific, but rather to evoke emotion and provoke thought in the viewer. The modern era also saw a shift in the materials used in painting. Acrylic paints with their quick-drying nature and versatility became a popular choice for many artists. This allowed for more experimentation and freedom in the creative process. Throughout this period, the subject matter of paintings also changed dramatically. Instead of being commissioned to create portraits or religious scenes, artists were now free to paint whatever captured their imagination. The canvas became a mirror of the artist's mind and soul, a vehicle for expressing their innermost thoughts and feelings. The modern era revolutionized painting, turning it into a mirror of the artist's mind and soul. It was a time of unprecedented freedom and creativity, a time when art became less about depicting the world as it is, and more about expressing the world as the artist sees it. Now, in the digital age, painting has transformed again, moving beyond the canvas and into the virtual world. Imagine a world where you're no longer bound by the physical limitations of paint and canvas, a world where your palette is as vast as your imagination, and your brush can create a pixel-perfect masterpiece. This is the world of digital painting. Digital painting emerged with the advent of technology, and it's been growing ever since. With software like Photoshop, artists can now paint with the click of a mouse or the swipe of a finger. The tools are different, but the creativity and passion remain the same. The beauty of digital painting lies in its versatility. You can experiment with countless brushes, textures, and colors without the fear of ruining your canvas. You can easily undo mistakes and try again. You can zoom in for meticulous detailing or zoom out for a broader perspective. The possibilities are virtually endless. But perhaps the most significant impact of digital painting is its accessibility. It has opened up a world of art to those who may not have had access to traditional art supplies. No matter where you are in the world, if you have a computer or a tablet, you can create a digital painting. And the art world has taken notice. Digital paintings are now exhibited in galleries and museums alongside traditional paintings. Some digital artists have even gained fame and recognition for their work, just like the masters of yesteryears. Digital painting has also revolutionized the field of concept art, used in movies, video games, and animations. It's allowed artists to bring fantastical worlds and characters to life with an unprecedented level of detail and realism. But despite all these advancements, the essence of painting remains unchanged. It's still about expressing yourself, telling a story, evoking an emotion. It's still about making your mark on the world, even if that world is a digital canvas. From cave walls to digital screens, painting continues to evolve, reflecting our ever-changing world. So, how far has painting come since its humble beginnings? Let's take a moment to reflect. From the primitive handprints on cave walls, painting has journeyed through the millennia, evolving and adapting with each era. The age of antiquity brought us intricate frescoes and pottery, a testament the grandeur of civilization's past. As we moved into the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, painting became a revered craft, with artists like Michelangelo and da Vinci elevating it to unprecedented heights. The dawn of modern times saw a revolution in the art world, breaking free tradition and exploring new realms of expression. And now, in the digital age, painting has transcended canvas, embracing technology to create art in ways our ancient forebears could never have imagined. Each era has woven its own thread into the rich tapestry of painting. But what about you? Ready to create your own masterpiece? At Acrylic Arts Academy, we offer free guided courses to help you get started with acrylic painting. You can enroll today at acrylicartsacademy.com slash free courses. We continue to create and innovate, painting will undoubtedly continue to evolve, carrying it the stories of our past, present, and future. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening painting content.